before advancing to the real gases, I just wanted to tell you this concept about standard temperature and pressure. Because probably you're going to hear that in industry, if not in the problems I'm going to give you or every engineering problem, you're going to hear the standard values for temperature and pressure. Uh, the thing here is that many industries choose their standard temperature or pressure depending on their convenience. If they work with low temperatures, they will tell you low temperatures. If they are high pressure industries, they will tell you high pressures, etc. So, as a thumb rule, I'm going to tell you that the temperature in general is either 0 Celsius or 25 Celsius. Pressure normally is either 1 atmosphere or 10 to the 5th power of bars, which is almost the same, I will say. This is about 155 pascals, and this is something like this. Um, you may always check the standard temperature and pressure on tables, diaries, journals, etc. Or even in Wikipedia, they have a, lo a list huge of uh, industries. For example, UPEC, you probably know it. What else? Uh, American Association of Doctor of Medicine. What else? ISO, International Standardization Organization. What else? ISO, US Army, and AMCA, aviation, and so on. They have a lot. Of. So a little note on that: the 20 Celsius is about 77 Fahrenheit. Just in case you were wondering, and I don't know why Americans love this 60 Fahrenheit, which is about 15 Celsius. Probably because that's a average temperature in the whole country. I'll say it's not that hot, not that cold. I think 25 Celsius is the standard for SA uh, system. And uh, yeah, essentially that's everything, guys. Uh, I'm not going to do a exercise on this because actually we're not working that much with ideal gases. We want to work eventually on first law problems. And of course I will tell you this is a gas and that's temperature and pressure and you find out how much substance or volume is there. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out its content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.